Welcome back. I'm waiting for another one more minute. children very good morning and thank you for joining again so good morning ma'am yes i could not any of you good morning ma'am uh, yes if you good morning ma'am very nice to see you all again so children did you see your class teachers like did you see like who are your teachers nice continue mama yes you saw like who are your teachers right so we're going to see you Yes, ma'am. Did you see yes, ma'am. your teachers? That's good. That's really good, you know. So I see oh, yeah. you all. Ha. Uh, all right, children. So thank you, parents, for rejoining back. Yes, I'm going to be muting all of you. So let's. Uh, just to just to start with the academic you now, we're going to reopen this on that day. children we will all be quiet now for another 10 more minutes i have muted all of you okay then you can talk right yes the academic year is going to be starting from we're going to start from monday that is 7th of june and the school is going to end for this term on 25th of march 2021 it's going to be a full fledged 10 academic month course that we would be working with and uh, having this uh, important dates i want everybody to you know be a little prepared on monday because uh, what is very important children since monday we are starting with the school so what we need to redo again we got to go to bed early and then we have to wake up early right shanmukh sayendvi what should we do children ritika mm-hmm. right okay that is <laughs> <laughs> conversation open because um, i want to go for pen yes early pen and early to night correct good morning da okay chale mute mute okay okay done 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 <laughs> thank you for being so patient enough and uh, just to quickly tell you once again so we are reopening on monday that is 7th of june and the academic year is going to close down on 25th of march friday it's a complete 10 months of academic session that we're going to have it so how are we going to start with our classes is like we would be joining into our zoom classes so you would get a meeting request to join for the zoom classes and the meeting request sent on to your whatsapp groups itself and uh, the class work or the homework uh, will be shared to every subject teacher like you know on the time table itself we would be able to give you who is the associated subject teacher so the contact details of the teachers will also be shared to you today so you can you can directly uh, talk to the teacher in case if you have any doubts but make sure that you would be not disturbing them during the class hours that is from 9 am to 11:30 am i would request all the parents to you know first message the teachers and the teachers would definitely give you a call back at their convenient time and if there's something which is very uh, important that you need to converse you can directly call the class teachers itself or you can call me or madhuka sir and we will be able to help you out in uh, allocating the classes or answering your queries and things like that and make sure whatever conversations that you have you wind up within 2 pm or 3 pm in the day so that you know the teachers will also get a little bit amount of a time to prepare for the next day lessons to make the ppts and things like that 
So whenever there are certain class activities which is actually happening and the teacher requests you to share certain homeworks or worksheets or anything, we would request that you submit the activity on the same day or on the immediate next day. But sometimes what happens due to the work pressure or the work pile, the work gets delayed and sometimes the parents do forget to also submit the worksheet. So thereby what happens, the uh, the check for the activities will be definitely lost. And sometimes since we're all working uh, through the digital medium, sometimes there could be your chances of, you know, not finding all the worksheets on place at the same time. So I would request, uh, it's a to all the parents that you submit all the activities on the same day itself and all the tests and assessments will be conducted similar to how we have it in the physical classes itself it's going to be a formative assessment sometimes it's also going to be a summative assessment so we're going to start with uh mon two and mon three and grade one are going to have the monthly test the monthly test can be mcqs that is the multiple choice questions we could also have a, a test on orals uh the test can also be a writing test okay so every month towards the end of the month or the beginning of the next month there would be a very short assessment for our children Mont one and playgroup children will have uh, assessments quarterly and uh, most of the assessments will be taken for them on the summative assessments itself and what is the requirement that we all should have is like a presence of a parent or a adult or a caretaker to supervise the child during the live classes is very important because they need to follow up on whether the child is learning is the child writing up over there or to follow the homework schedule it's important second thing is like you can organize your computer or a laptop which has got a good bandwidth if you do not have even the ipad or the mobile phone is also an optional but make sure you get a, a mobile holder or you could make a diy craft so that you know the child is not holding the mobile for a longer period of time please create a simple desk setup so that you you know, it becomes easier for a child to sit down relaxingly and start writing uh, with their own pace. And coming down to the books, as I mentioned all, already, the Bangalore students can collect uh, uh, from uh, the school office itself. But uh, for some of the students, we have already couriered the books and the pipeline for today. And we have not received the books still because of the lockdown and the lockdown is also extended. So we school has not received. It's not only with the uh, train brain, it is with most of the uh, schools who are into uh, the primary divisions. Uh, even all the schools have not received the books, at least the textbooks. But we do not want it to delay any of the educational purposes. So that's the reason that the e-books will be published. So you can take a look through. If you have a good uh, facility to take a printout of one or two pages for the activities, you could do it on a daily basis. So this is one thing. And what are the tools that our teachers are going to use is like the teachers will use books or worksheets. They will share presentations, slideshows. They would also be using the whiteboards, what they have. Sometimes they might also write down and share the screenshots. Sometimes there would be some recordings that they would have pre-recorded and then they would show that to children. So children would understand it much better. So these would all be the tools our teachers would be using during the live classes to make it a little bit more interesting. Live quizzes will be there, interactive games will be there, class games can be conducted and teacher will have uh, uh, the entire class control like muting and unmuting, sharing the screen, sharing the control so she can actually put a spotlight on some student, give the admin uh, control rights to the student to actually talk. So, uh, so they would be giving you lots of rules at the beginning uh, for the children also to understand. So it takes at least like 15 days to 10 days for our students to settle into this online medium but as i mentioned like you know so it's going to be very simple it's going to be ample free so not to worry anything about that and uh, moving to the next one uh, i do have a uh, uh, there, there are certain plans like you know the daily plans will be shared to the parent one day before the monthly planner will be shared to you so that will give you the holidays of the month and the events for the month and uh, whatever are the activities so your planner will have curricular curricular along with the uh, events and holidays uh, into it so you can plan it up these are some of the events which is planned for the academic year like we will have class assemblies we would have investor ceremony for this year last year we couldn't do that so investor is like wherein we would be represent the entire student council will be formed representing the house groups mm -hmm. and that will be the senior most class students would be taking it up and for the june we would have uh, uh, events like until days we have uh, the world yoga day starting for the month of uh, uh, june and father's day 
why we don't have any of the events and from september's we do have grandparents day celebration poem recitation shows and tells kannada week storytelling talent week specific color days all will be there so in case if your child is uh, talented in anything like singing or doing certain artwork or playing uh, any kind of a guitar or any musical instrument i would request that you get in touch with the uh, class teacher also so we would also know a little bit more on the child so this would also be helpful uh, for a teacher to also like engage those children and give them a little bit of a smaller encouragement that they could excel with whatever talents that they actually have it and apart from that we would have these specific color days and all the monthly festival celebrations that was going to be happening so what do we expect from parents is like uh, the first thing is like the good attendance uh, please uh, join on time and be regular to class make sure that your children do attend the classes every day uh, unless it's like uh, not possible because of your work schedule or something try not to miss it out otherwise you could give instructions to your child to sit down okay so never doubt about your child you know your child will not be able to do this can my child do that you know so all these anticipations definitely we will all have it but uh, let Let's, let's be very positive towards this and let's uh, get towards completing the activities on the same day so this is uh, not only going to help the child but at the same time it's going to go very slow and then it's going to uh, ramp up the speed so that that's going to help the child also to complete uh, uh, in developing the speed of writing or reading or picking up anything so clear if you have any doubts please clear it on the same day you can reach to a specific teacher for any help uh, uh, do not wait for the ptms to share your feedback or ideas or suggestion we are open to ideas and suggestions please give it because even we are also learning and we would definitely love to do that you know so last year also like we had so very good number of feedbacks from the parents which actually helped us to you know make uh, the online learning much more easier so we generally share most of the updates on our social media like we have a facebook page and we do have a lot of a lessons which is shared on our youtube so if you are a new member to the youtube i would request please go and subscribe because we have more than thousands of videos which we created last year uh, because of the pandemic and a uh, very very less number of videos were made public and which was accessible to many of them but other than that it was all available for the students of our uh, school itself you know so it was all unlisted and the links were shared so i would request all of you to uh, if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe uh, to the a channel so you would get all the updates so this is our june month planner so today is fifth and we started with the first event and that's our orientation day and we're starting with 7th of june so it's a big day for all of us we're going to start the school so children so you all get geared up okay so we're going to see you all every day in the morning 9 o'clock okay so you will all be uh, you know like uh, good with energy and zeal and enthusiasm okay the first day itself children so we are going to be celebrating the end of the day. okay so on that day we are going to water some plants okay so we're going to do some coloring activity which is going to be to our environment okay so we're going to do some recycling in case if you have so deepthi ma'am is going to take up a virtual session on that day okay and she will share you some tips and suggestions she's going to share some tips and suggestions on that day so it's going to be helpful for all of you okay so uh, that's going to be the first event and after that we have an ocean day activity so we have a surprise for that too and 18th uh, we're going to celebrate the fathers day activity and then we have the yoga day and after that children 929th we have our first class assembly by our students of grade 1 and all of you will have the opportunity to see how assemblies do take it up and further than that is what we would have the assemblies for the lower classes also and assemblies will be generally helpful to develop their communication to interact with the other students for the dialogue delivery for the narrations and for uh, being more much more descriptive towards uh, the classes so all this uh, uh, virtual class assemblies will be planned by the respective to teachers like shanti ma'am or sushma ma'am so they would plan up the assemblies and they would share it to you it can be it can be related to any themes which we do have it and coming down to the time schedule so grade 1 we're going to start the lessons from 9 o'clock on mondays i need to still add the timing so we're going to also have on monday a post lunch session at 2 o'clock so okay so monday mornings are going to be uh, you know like high dosage i could say like we have math english and language as an introductory lesson for all of us tuesdays it's going to be english so we have 9 to 9:40 then we take a quick break in case if you have not had your breakfast i want everybody to start off with a good breakfast 
children because it's going to be for a longer period of time now for grade one. So uh, keep keep your snacks handy. You can munch, okay, but not regularly eating, okay. So do not get into the habit of eating in front of the class, okay. So you could, if you, I want everyone to finish off the breakfast by nine and settle down on your desk by eight fifty or eight fifty five. So you're all okay. Relax for your classes, and then if you have not, then take a break at nine forty. Have a quick breakfast and then come back. Do not eat or you know like go around multiple number of times. Washroom, having breakfast, drinking something healthy or eating something healthy has to be done much before the classes for the older children. Is that okay, children? Any time that you're walking away from the classes, you got to take the permission from your class teacher. Like, may I go? You know, please request for the permission and then watch the classes. And the other important thing, children, you cannot off your videos. Okay, so we want all of you to be seen. So please do not off your videos. Okay, so teacher is going to instruct you multiple times, but you have to keep your videos on most of the times. So the only thing is, like, we would be muted most of the times until that we are asked for. Okay, so that's going to be there. So I will also be taking up one of the lesson for all the classes. So, uh, so that uh, in that way, I would be able to interact with all the teachers. And Canada is my, uh, I think, allocated subject for students of grade one and computer science. So I'll be taking up these two lessons, and we have uh, the following other teachers. So you could take a look through. I'll share you all the timetables. And uh, the next uh, timetable for our Mont three is Mont three also has longer durations, like two days. We have up to eleven forty. But on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we wind up the classes by 10.40. I'll share you all the uh, timetable list uh, so you can take a deeper look into it. And this is the timetable for Mont 2. And Mont 1, I will be sharing you the timetable. So Monica, ma'am, is going to share the timetable. So we have uh, every day for Mont 1 students, we have one period. It's only a 40 minutes of time. Keeping the sitting tolerance of children is what you could see the number of periods would have also increased. Okay, so Mont 1 will have a 40 minutes of an online session. Every day. The timings will be notified to you by Monica, ma'am. So now we are open for question and answers. And before that, I would request uh, in case if uh, any of the parents have a feedback, like, you know, so I received some of the feedback. Uh, uh, Karis, uh, Karis, mother. Uh, uh, hi, Divya, ma'am. Uh, yes, hi, Divya, ma'am. Hello, hello. Good morning. How are you? Um, uh, I'm doing good. Yes, so, uh, I will uh, switch on the mute one second. I will, uh, Let me put you on the spotlight. Uh, hello, ma'am. Nivedita, this side. Uh, who's this? Yeah, Nivedita, this side, ma'am. Yes, Nivedita, tell me. Yeah, um, just wanted to actually know, ma'am, the timetable for nursery. That is Mont 1. Yes, Mont like 1. Yes, Mont 1, it has not been put up on the slide, ma'am. That's what I said. Monica, ma'am, will get back to you for the timetable. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. And sure. another class planning would be 11, ma'am? Pardon? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it, it, it is going to be post 10 or 10.30. It's going to be a 40-minute session. It's going to be either okay. 10 or it's going to be at 11. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry for interrupting. Ma'am, I'm, ma I'm Nidhi's uh, brother. Tell me. Hi. Niranjana's brother. Yes. Niranjana's brother. Is that Kunal? Is that Kunal? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Connecting with you. It's very nice that I'm talking to my alumni student who's talking on behalf of his little sister. Shanti ma'am, if you remember, Kunal was your student. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, that's nice. Yes, yes, Kunal, go ahead. What is it? Ma'am, like, uh, ma'am, I have a doubt that, like, like we will get, in for Zoom, we should get meeting passcode and, uh, and we should get the ID. So, ma'am, like, every class, before every class, uh -huh. uh, we will get the meeting ID and passcode. Or, like, uh, after the first class, we will again get meeting ID or the class will be stretching and the subjects will be changing. 
no uh, since it is going to be a recurring class i think you would be receiving together like okay whenever you have an evs class it's going to be at the same time if you see the timetable you can log in with this oh, no, okay so it's going to be a recurring meet so if not the teachers are going to be posting into uh, the whatsapp group itself for every period either one goes. okay ma'am Okay. I clicked the photo of the timetable. So Tuesday there are two classes, no, ma'am. Yes, yes. So like I was just having the doubt, like how like Tuesday your sister, there are two. Your sister is in Mon two. Nidhi Niranjana is in Mon two. In Mon two. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is the this is the timetable. Yes, ma'am. I clicked the photo. Yes, ma'am. I clicked the photo. I was just having a doubt because Tuesday has two classes, no, ma'am. So I was just asking, these both has one class or these both have different like building? Different, different. It's going to have different meeting. Okay, if you see that there's a break, nine forty to ten o'clock, everybody will receive a break for twenty minutes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you for okay. answering. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll first, uh, I'll first talk to the parent. Uh, we have Karis Madho. Uh, ma'am. Uh, hi. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Divya, ma'am. Uh, hi, good morning, uh, all. Like, I wanted to give my feedback about TBPS and my daughter's uh, experience with TBPS. So, four years back, uh, I met Divya, ma'am, uh, during a lunch time for uh, and uh, we were looking for a school. So, uh, we met uh, Divya, ma'am. So, it was a lunch time. So, the first impression was the best impression. Ma'am clearly explained the the curriculum how it is going to be because my daughter was just two years old when we were uh, looking for a school. So I first I went to TPPS and it was my uh, like the decision like my daughter will be studying there only after talking to the mom. She uh, she explained it very nicely. So we were so impressed and then we joined uh, our daughter in a play school there in the TPPS. So, um, Monisha ma'am was her first uh, class teacher and uh, uh, whenever uh, we, like in the assembly time and all, whenever we see Monisha ma'am used to uh, take all the children like very nicely, like she will uh, treat every children like her own children and uh, my daughter was very comfortable, like uh, we uh, saw them through the window, like how the kids are uh, 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 behaving. So the first day itself, my daughter was very comfortable in the TPPS I saw and all the teachers were like, uh, they take care of the children so nicely. And then after her play school, uh, she always talked about Shivli ma'am. Uh, in Mon too, Shivli ma'am was her class teacher. Until uh, this date, whenever I say Shivli ma'am, my daughter will be jumping and uh, she'll be uh, Zeling Shivli ma'am is my favorite ma'am. Like every day she will remember that I want to talk to Shivli ma'am. Like it was her that Mont experience. And then uh, this Mont 3, we couldn't uh, send children to uh, their physical school. So all, everything was online. So we were worried like how it is going to be. But once the online classes started, that all the doubts were like uh, cleared. Because uh, um, uh, Shanti ma'am, Divya ma'am, Shushma ma'am, Shibli ma'am, Priyanka ma'am, everybody, not even one, uh, like we didn't think anything negative. All classes went very smooth and if, uh, Shanti ma'am's classes used to be very interactive. Uh, uh, the ch uh, like not only my daughter, but I see other kids also will be jumping and very active. And ma'am used to be so kind and uh, attend everyone's query. And all the classes used to be very interactive. Like it is not the way like everybody are learned, but we can teach. But the way Shanti ma'am teaches, no, it was something unique. Like it will attract the children and it will attract the parents as well. The way she uh, teaches the children. And I would like to uh, thank Divya ma'am. Like she's having a dynamic leadership like uh, she coordinates very well and um, um, for a play school, uh, she did beyond our expectation. I would uh, ha heartfully thank Divya ma'am for all her uh, uh, efforts for children. 
I I can proudly say that my daughter can. Uh, um, she has improved in her soft skills like reading, writing, and it's all because of this uh, TBPS school, Divya ma'am, Shanti ma'am, and all other ma'am. My daughter, and uh, I am really confident, and I am. Uh, I can say my daughter is in the uh, safe hands. Uh, is the teacher and um, and without uh, any second thought uh, uh, like uh, i'm thankful to god also like uh, this grade one also you have started so without any second thought we have uh, got admission in tpps and i would like to uh, encourage all other parents like you can be confident that your child will be successful and the early education in tpps is going to be a fruitful and successful uh, year for Yes, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wonderful huh? words, and I'm very blessed to uh, be associated. Thank you. Next, uh, we have Ms. Nancy. Hello, Divya, ma'am. Good morning. Hello, ma'am. So, uh, I'm just muted, everyone. Can you please unmute yourself? So hi everyone. So I'm here to share my experience with um, TBPS. So uh, like we have been associated with TBPS for the past two years. So as uh, the earlier parents said, no, like we were also uh, looking for lots of schools. And once we met uh, Divya Ma'am and Madhukar Sir, we were like fixed. Like this is the place where my child is going to learn. And uh, we were totally happy with our decision. Like uh, right from day one, no, she was really happy going to school. Like uh, she went to the physical school for one year, like one two, and she totally enjoyed it. She never cried for going to school, uh, although we expected like that might happen, but she never cried. Like uh, she was totally happy going to the school. And uh, one two, three, like uh, as every parent know, we had doubt like how the uh, online schooling is going to happen and uh, how the children is going to cope up with the online classes. But it was totally fine. Uh, so Divya Ma'am is like um, very good in like coordinating. Like she sends out the daily uh, things that are going to happen, like the previous day itself, like the classes that are going to be held tomorrow and uh, every single thing. You no, know, she used to share the previous day itself, and uh, it. It is really hassle-free, like uh, uh, no tension-free also. And uh, uh, like in between online sessions, uh, the kids used to lose their interest, but the staff know like they do small chit-chats and they keep the children engaged throughout the session. So the children are like active throughout the, till the end of the session. And even uh, still if the child is in bad mood or if they lose their interest, no, the children, uh, the staff, they put in extra effort and they reach out the children once the session gets over and make sure that uh, the children are totally fine. Like uh, uh, they give all the encouraging words uh, if the children was in bad mood during the session. So I have seen this. And uh, uh, if and if at all, like uh, as Divya Ma'am told, like uh, if due to our, if the parents are working and due to the work schedule, you know, like if we are not able to join the online classes, then even in that uh, period of time, they used to share the recording so that we don't miss out anything and we are like catching up with every single class. So uh, we have. Uh, missed two, three sessions, I guess, and uh, we were always shared the recording so that we are not lagging anywhere. Like we are totally active with all the sessions. And uh, uh, apart from completing the syllabus, also we have this periodic uh, revision so that like children don't forget the old uh, syllabus. Like whatever they are learning, no, they used to keep on uh, having the periodic revision and everything. And uh, due to this uh, virtual schooling, we never miss this festivals even during Diwali. Christmas and uh, Independence Day, they bring in some virtual celebration so that the uh, uh, children like uh, get that experience too. And uh, for Father's Day, Mother's Day, we have lots of uh, craft activities also. So children do enjoy it. I think lots of uh, uh, like this uh, pandemic you know, has brought in the innovation and uh, the creative ideas and lots of uh, staff and they have always brought in new ideas and uh, to keep the children engaging. And uh, we tried every single thing which was shared with us. And apart from this, like every day starts to sing along and special thanks to Monica Mama. I always used to say 
because uh, my elder child is school going but uh, monica mom's video no even my younger son like younger one used to enjoy like they used to play in loops only multiple times like they'll say play again play again and they'll be literally jumping and dancing for all the sing along and uh, uh, special thanks to shanti mom as uh, divya mom said the brain hack no it was uh, a good thing like even adults can do it a uh, brain hack for us uh it is like uh, giving a pat on our back like uh, uh that is one nice idea and uh, we also have art and craft classes periodically every week once or twice so uh, overall it was a great experience for us so uh since you started grade 1 no we didn't have any second thought we just thought okay my child is going to study here so uh so here we go <laughs> from Thank monday we'll uh, we'll see Thank so you. no regrets at all i'm totally happy with uh, tbps and all the staff so special thanks to monica ma'am shanti ma'am divya ma'am madhukar sir like i forgot to this madhukar sir like uh, i was having a doubt good morning, whether uh, my child will be able to understand chess because it is a bit uh, i feel that it is a adult game like a uh, lot of uh, rules we have uh, but he made it so simple and uh, even my child was able to understand the rules and uh what uh what surprises me is like she still remember the rules also there and there like not everything but uh maybe a uh, practice will like uh practice will make it perfect so uh thanks to madhukar sir uh, shwerli ma'am shishma ma'am and every if i miss someone uh, sorry for that and uh, i'm really happy with tbps and all the staff thank you thank you thank so you, much thank you nancy that was an overwhelming good morning ma'am thank you so much uh so good morning ma'am and shikara Shikara, yes, dear. How are you? Will my brother get? Shikara, where are you? Brother get. Nirant. Nirant. Nirant, I say. Hello, Nirant. Hi. How are you, Nirant? Shikara. Ma'am, will my brother get recording sessions? Yes, yes. Your your brother would definitely get recording sessions also. So children, you don't have to worry about uh, having the recording sessions because definitely that will still be there with all of us. Because sometimes if we miss out on that, we would definitely be looking into it. Okay. So uh, because of the time constraint, I'm not able to pick up uh, more questions. So I do have. Uh, Feroz's dad and Ritvika's dad definitely. I would interact with them personally, and due to the time constraint, I'm not able to. Uh, talk to them and uh, in case if there are any questions you know i was like going through the chat section so we had a lot of questions in the chat section so we have banjani's dad asking can the practice be uh, the recorded session for the couple of days to have a bridge course definitely sir the bridge courses are going to help out children we wouldn't straight start with the academic lessons for the lower classes like especially like mont 2 it's going to be difficult for us we would begin with alphabets the phonetic sounds the basic tracing handwriting then only we are going to be starting with all of that and lohit's dad is asking for the timetable timetable will be shared right after the meeting and banjini's dad is also asking i know it's difficult to maintain uh, all the students in the classes yes uh, and uh, our teachers and the parents will definitely work with all of us hand in hand we would work uh, with all of that and jashwant's parent is asking it's a good experience uh, that the tbps and the teachers are actually working with thank you so much sir and uh, they have joined in the mid of the year but still the child could actually cope up very well as what the jashwant's uh, dad has actually put up i still see some of the parents have uh, raised their hands like sushma so can we take a quick question we do have another uh, four more minutes uh, so can we be a little quick so we can at least like address the Ma'am, actually, last year you were posting the videos before the online class started for Siri in the group. Mm -hmm. Like this year also, you'll uh, post the videos and uh, can you record the classes also, ma'am? Uh, so, If you record the classes also, it will be helpful for us. Like uh, after uh, the class the finish, also we can teach the classes. But what happens is like you know, recording the classes every time is like very. Distrab, uh, disturbing. I could say, like you know, it's also distracting for the children in case if they re-look into the videos. So what yeah. works better is like a pre-recorded session. So that's going to be little helpful for all of us. Okay, so we will do a shorter videos, like two minutes or a three minutes, and those things can be shared rather than a one hour or for forty minutes of a session because nobody would have a time to look back through it. So I hope that uh, addressed. Yes, thank you, Sushma. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, thank you, ma'am. For Mont Three. uh savarni ma'am math teacher for mont 3 is uh, trupti ma'am 
and uh, Ditya uh, Ganguly for Mont One. Mont One teacher is Monica Ma. Adishasta is asking, ma'am, can I get the details? Uh, ma'am, the teaching stuff. Ma'am, we have already covered this. Ma'am, my question is, uh, my ma'am, my question is like uh, considering my child's interest uh, more in the oral studies. I'm just wondering since she's starting with Mont One, mm -hmm. I mean, will you be sharing enough, uh, you know, ways and methods to teach and start with the writing skills for our for the Mont One? Definitely, uh, since because uh, Mont that this is a big challenge. Yes, uh, that was a wonderful question raised because Mont One children are uh, working towards the oral language development. We need to be working towards more of vocabulary enrichment exercises. We work on storytelling, rhymes and recitals because these are the ones which is going to actually help children to develop the speech and literacy. The more that you do it with songs, uh, it becomes easier for children to actually learn it up. So for example, just now if I'm doing a good morning song and if we're introducing emotions like, you know, how are you today? I'm good, I'm great, I'm fine. I'm wonderful, I'm awesome, I'm not okay. There are different positive and the negative emotions of the child feeling the day for her today, right? So that is indirectly helping the child to build up on vocabulary skills. Mont One will be very much focused on pre-writing skills, tracing lines and patterns, uh, more of picture dictionary, vocabulary, like uh, uh, the flashcards or different kinds of pictures that will actually be shown to all of them. And uh, uh, is there any possible ways to teach Montessori equipments? Uh, Montessori equipments, uh, uh, we will not be able to show it for children, but at least like, you know, we will try and uh, show the lesson, introductory lessons uh, using the Montessori materials, especially for math. Uh, if it's possible, we can definitely show it. Sensory exercises, we would give you suggested resources, which could be homeschooled at home. Like say, for example, tracing cards. Okay, so you can actually trace with the help of uh, a sand tray or a salt tray. There are lots of suggested resources. So parents, this was just an awareness uh, uh, orientation program that we had so we will meet up detailly on the complete Saturdays on every uh, this particular month it is going to be a complete handout kind of a workshop for the parents wherein we would be giving you the importance of circle time the importance of reading the importance of writing for the younger children this will all be the separate workshops which will be class appropriate and age appropriate so we would again be meeting uh, you on the coming Saturday it is going to be an exclusive 40 minutes of workshops for every classes which is going to be age appropriate wherein we would be working very close to the parents how how do you make your child read or how do you make your child write? so i'm going to take up one last question now so in case of the child could not attend due to un unavoidable circumstances will the class recording be helpful okay or it is shared on demand uh, ma'am we would be giving you an overall lesson plan of what actually happened today and if the concepts are very simple you could go ahead with that otherwise a day before itself a pre-recorded will be shared for it and Chalni is, ma'am, is asking, my daughter Aradhya is new to TBPS, excited. We too are excited. So welcome. Shaurya is saying, uh, refresh your writing sessions for M2. Definitely, yes, we would look into the bridge course session. So uh, if there are any more questions, I would definitely take it up. Uh, but in case if I have Feru's dad, I would like to quickly hear a minute uh, response from him. Uh, so that, you know, I just do have another one more minute and then we would wind up for the day. Thank you so much for participating on time. I will share all the details right away after this meeting in another hour. Well, once the meeting is totally completed. So thank you so much, parents. And have a wonderful day ahead. Be safe, stay safe. Children, all of you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us on time. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.